Hi, today I'll show you how to configure the jQuery cycle plugin. This is our preferred plugin when content animates in a slide, rotate, or fade transition. First thing is to download the most recent jQuery library. All of these files can be easily found online, and I've already downloaded them here. This includes the library, the jQuery easing plugin, which supports the most important jQuery cycle plugin. Next, we need to reference these files in our head section, then style the containing element here, and it's important that we indicate the dimensions and add an overflow hidden. This is important because if the function breaks for any reason, we do not want the content to tile down and disrupt the client's website. So even if the script is broke, adding the dimensions and overflow hidden uh, contains the content here uh, in its own space. Next we want to customize the function. We are including the containing elements class name here, which is also in the CSS and in the HTML, and then our uh, custom variables. FX is the transition effect. Most often we'll use fade, but there are a lot more, and the next most common effect here would be scroll. Then there's time out, which is the amount of time in between each transition, and speed, which is how quickly the transitions occur, and an important final variable here, pause. By default this is set to zero, but we want to set this to true because then it will pause uh, the transition effect as long as the user is hovering their mouse over the element, which is important if there are um, links or there's additional content uh, that they need time to read. And finally, the HTML. This is the containing element for the content and then the content that we wish to apply the transition effect to. It's very flexible. Uh, I've included images here, but we can also include inline HTML, and it all just works in order one after the next, as you can see here.